So what is happening here? Right now, if I showcase you that we have this four lane highway, right? Just leave for some time that you are reading something with respect to pretty technical thing, which is QS, which comes into picture when you have a network already up and running, right? So what I'm uh, showcasing you here is that we have a four lane highway and there are so many cars over this highway, right? And if I calculate the rate here, right here, then there are approximately say i think 15 cars and suppose these 15 cars are there and every 10 minutes you get these 15 cars there is no doubt about it okay and now what is happening here is that this four way highway there is a junction and unfortunately we do not have a space for these four different lane right so this is a four lane highway and we do not have any space for four lanes for further uh, down the line or you can say uh, if you want to come from here to here the starting 50 kilometers is four lane and the ending 10 kilometers is only two lane highway if that is the case you all know there is going to be congestion right here right and then what is happening here is you are sending the car from here to this two-way lane and here is my problem the problem is we have some policemen standing right here and they are saying that you cannot have more than four cars on this highway in 10 seconds means per 10 uh, sorry per 10 minutes you can send only four cars otherwise it is going to be problem on this highway right and right now you can see that we have if i consider from here to here the 10 minute window you can see we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine cars, right? And that is why this police is saying that this is not good. I want to throw away five different cars, which is not possible in the real scenarios, right? You can argue with me, Mr. Vishnu, why do you have the same looking cars, right? Because I get this picture from this uh, internet, right? I could have 15 pictures, but it is going to be a lot of work, but that should be out of the discussion. The point here is, that on the four lane highway, I can have 15 cars in 10 minutes. But on the two lane highways, it's a problem. If we get all these 15 cars in 10 minutes, it is going to be so much congested. And that is why we have police here, which is policing, right? And, uh, and these two guys are saying that if more than four cars come in 10 minutes, I'm going to throw away out of this highway. Or maybe they can take some different route, but I will not let them in right here, right? So right now the problem is that here I have policing already placed, but nobody is here who can guide all these guys that guys, please stop. You can't go all 15 cars in 10 minutes in this highway, right? It means that we need to be somebody here also. Who is guiding all these guys? Please stop. I am letting only four cars per 10 minutes. Right. If that is the case, then basically on this road, only four cars will be coming. It means that at this junction where my four lane highway is converting into two lane highways, I need at least somebody who can guide me, right? Who can guide all these cars. Are there only four can go in 10 minutes, right? Because there is a police guy that those guys are doing policing right there. And that is where what I am going to introduce now is at this junction, I am introducing some more policemen, but now they are not doing policing these guys are doing policing right they are absolutely saying that if somebody comes if four cars and i'm just considering the window of 10 minutes these guys are saying if more than four car comes i am not going to let them go right to make sure that whatever these guys are asking these guys are asking four cars per 10 minute we have these three policemen here who will be just making a barricade here and they are going to say i will be sending only four cars per 10 minutes and it makes sense why does it make sense because if i send more than four cars per minute per 10 minute the guys who are policing at the other end right they are going to say or they are going to remove them from this highway although it doesn't happen in the real life real life is full of congestion but actually I have, and that is why this is just an analogy. Analogy is not the perfect means, uh, the perfect thing, right? 
and that is why they are analogies right the whole soul point is i know at this junction these three guys number one number two number three these three these three guys knows that if i send more cars the two policemen right there who are policing who are asking for only four car per tenant they are going to throw away these cars out of the two lane highway and the important thing is that i should be stopping all these guys right otherwise they will come at the same pace and they will go at the same pace 15 car uh, per 10 minutes on this two lane highway which is not feasible at all and what i'm going to do is i will be stopping them right here it means that i am stopping the flow of all these four lanes and i am just sending four cars per 10 minutes it means that i am doing the shaping there are lots of cars coming five cars per 10 minutes i am not letting them go right i am saying wait guys i am just letting you go only i am just letting four cars per 10 minutes that is it so if there is somebody who is doing the policing i have to shape I have to sh I have to give shape to my traffic, right? Because if the traffic is coming like this, I need to maybe I need to send only four cars. I need to chop this. The meaning of chopping is wait for some more time. Wait in your respective lanes, right? So most of the time, shaping and policing is coming hand in hand. It means if I know at some other end, somebody is saying, "Do not send me more than that," right? And if I send more than that, that guy is going to throw that away, right? Because he doesn't have any processing power. Really, really interesting. And this is exactly the reason why we want to have the shaping. If somebody is policing, I need to shape, right? Now I am introducing this words, shaping and policing. So whatever I'm doing at this junction, this is known as shaping because I'm asking my traffic to hold on to wait for some time i am just letting four cars per 10 minutes right so this four cars per 10 minutes is my shaping rate but previously what was the rate of my traffic it is 15 cars per minute i made it look like four right why because it is going to be problem not look like i am sending at four car per 10 minutes as simple as that now let's see i think i have used some more analogies for you from our traffic department right so again i forgot to make uh, the policeman here sorry for that this is my policeman so what is happening here guys we have anjali and anjali is now champion in classifying the packet and marking the packet and she has already done that what are the packets or the whatever the letters this is the example from the postal office analogies guys so whatever the letters Anjali is getting, she is marking them. The green one is of premium service. The yellow one is of my express service. The white one is of my regular service. And now she has made these three lanes out of it. And we have Mr. Rahul. Rahul is our scheduler, you all know. Rahul is going to see the premium messages. They should go out here. Express message, they, go, they should go out. And then the regular should go out, right? He is doing the scheduling, right? And the important piece is that Rahul is sending these message means four letters per hour. Rahul is a scheduler. But here is the thing. The problem is the other end, right? Who is going to actually deliver the message, right? Or where this message are actually going to be, right? This guy is not comfortable of receiving four letters per hour. He is saying, I cannot even process four letters or I just have the bandwidth, right? Or maybe there is setting between this guy and this guy. And this guy said that, see, if you want me to process four letters per hour, you need to give me 50,000 rupees. The meaning of processing is that eventually these letters should be going into uh, with, with using premium service, express service or anything, right? But this guy is saying, I can process only uh, if, you, if, if you want me to process these four letters per hour, you need to give me 50,000. And if you want me to process only two uh, packets per hour, then basically the cost is going to be 10,000. And Mr. Rahul is saying, okay, 10,000 is fine. But Mr. Rahul is doing some interesting thing. Instead of he has a contract with this guy, right, for sending only two letters, but now he's sending four letters and it's a problem, right? 
it means that this guy can only get two letters in one hour because you have contracted right if that is the case here is the problem mr rahul has to do some shaping the minimum the meaning is instead of sending four letters per hour mr rahul has to stop his speed because he's a contract with the other guy and basically this guy is doing the policing meaning means if you send me more than two letters per hour it is going to be problem and rahul is saying okay i will do that and that is where if the policing is happening somewhere i need to stop my rate in accordance with the policing and what i'm going to do i am will be doing shaping in this case as simple as that so now let's see the same thing in the router's case why i am explaining you all these things with so many analogies with so many examples because shaping is something which is a pain point for so many engineers right we have seen the example in case of highway four lane two lanes we understood we have seen the same example from the postal office analogy right if the recipient is not able to process the message right or if i have a contract that i just i'm just going to send the two messages to you per hour if i'm sending more it is going to be problem for that guy and if it is going to be problem for that guy then i have to make sure that i am sending messages in accordance with what that guy is asking for and similarly we have here so many messages right these messages are classified and these messages are marked why because you have done it you know how to do the classification and marking once the message goes over the 0/1 interfaces i know that i can do the queuing right and if i do the queuing i can have this priority queue i can have this maybe class based queue and this is my default one maybe right and suppose now this interface can take 10 packets per second this is the rate or this is the bandwidth of this interface for example if i have 100 million bits per second interface it means it can send 100 million bits in one second it is going to be very easy if i explain you with respect to packet so instead of doing million bits i am saying it can this interface can carry 10 packets per second but here is my problem the router at the other end is saying boss suppose this is router number 2 this is router number 1 and you and this router belongs to a service provider suppose and this belongs to you service provider has a network which is for many customers right and that is why service provider is getting messages from many customers and he is saying that from you mr r1 if you are sports india private limited i am going to accept only 10 or i am going to accept only 5 packets per second not more than that because i have so many customers right they are going to send me packets and i have a limited bandwidth because i have to process all these messages from different customer and i have limited bandwidth so i will be saying to each of my customer that i cannot process more than 5 packets from you per second right and by the way this is actually known as the contract between you your organization and your service provider maybe airtel geo right and this is also known as committed information rate the meaning is you have a contract with the service provider with the r2 that you are not going to send five packets per second right but if you send 10 packets per second this guy the service provider has this policeman or policing configure the meaning is this police guy is always going to check in one second how many messages you are sending and if there is more than 5 the remaining 5 messages will be gone right gone means r2 or the service provider router is going to discard it if there is the case if you already know that there is a contract there is no point of sending these 10 messages believe me because 5 messages are going to be discarded so what you need to do your interface speed is 10 packets per second you have to send it with that it means that if i talk about in one second you are sending 10 packets 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 right but you now know that there is policing configured at the service provider side what i have to do i can't send this is my interface speed to send 10 packets per second right 
instead of sending 10 packets per second i need to say hold on these message should go in a hold queue or a queue where these guys are going to wait i need to say that whenever i was sending 10 messages inside or in one second now i will be sending only one or oh sorry five message in one second as simple as that right really interesting so what i am doing here i have the capacity of sending 10 packets per second this is my interface bandwidth but i cannot do that why because the policing is configured at the other side that guy is just checking how many messages i am sending in one second if it is more than five it is going to discard them and that is why i will be sending five packets per second it means that i need to delay my packets right means for some time i will be sending for some time i will not be sending because my speed is 10 packets per second right and this is the concept which we are going to talk about but before doing that i would like to ask that if any one of you having any thoughts on this process that what is the meaning what is the actual meaning of shaping and policing anybody or if any one of you want to add something into it i would be more than happy anyone here okay okay please tell me uh, you guys are able to hear me right yes no yes perfect okay having said that again where exactly do we use shaping and policing mostly we are going to use mostly this shaping and policing in service provider environment right now what is happening here that we have taken the services from suppose airtel right so this is my delhi office here the same network this is my uh, mumbai office and delhi and mumbai is connected over 1000 kilometer point to point link and i have taken the service of airtel right and here is the problem this interface of the router is gigabit it means that i can send one gigabit of traffic in one second and here is the problem the service provider is saying no 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 no. you can't send that you and i have contract between you and me so that i am not going to receive more than one 500 million bits per second right so basically one gig traffic means 1000 million bits per second one gig per second mean, right if that is the case what is going to happen i have to stop some of the times and i need to send some of the time and what is the time period is going to be i will be talking about it right but the most important case is i know that the van provider has putting some policy or some policing here in which it is saying that if the traffic is coming more than 5 million bits per second i need to drop it and i do not want to drop it and that is why although my interface can carry 1000 of the gigabit of traffic but i will be sending over 500 million bits per second because i know at the other side the guy is going to discard those messages right so when somebody asks you that is there any benefit means if i have a gigabit interface and if i am sending traffic in million bits per second i'm slowing slowing down my traffic is there any purpose for that yes in case of shaping you need to do that so the other side whatever is happening is policing my side whatever is happening is shaping and most of the time you are going to see this shaping and policing in your service provider network or basically when you are connecting your enterprise to a service provider network or you can say over your van links you can see shaping also in your data center environment where you would like to give that your data center application are going to get the treatment and the other flows which are going you need to shape them because they can take others bandwidth right so in service provider environment, sorry, in, in data center environment, you see shop and shaping. Most of the time, the shaping and policing you can see uh, there in your van links, right? I would like to showcase you one another example where you see the shaping and policing. Suppose again, you have your Sports India network, and inside Delhi only, inside Delhi only, we have these three or four buildings. This is my kind of headquarter inside Delhi, right? And inside Delhi, this is my maybe Delhi University. And here uh, I have a campus near Delhi University, then Kanat Place, right? Or maybe this one is my Nehru Place building, right? And I have taken the services of Metro Ethernet. If you do not know Metro Ethernet, believe me, 
it is just like a switch you can connect multiple uh, buildings of yours and you connect the headquarter and all these guys can talk this is just like a metro ethernet service right but here is the problem the problem is that the headquarter building whatever the communication is happening between du and uh, connect base it is happening via this way if delhi university guys wants to access internet also they are coming to the headquarter and headquarter is sending them to the internet right it means that you can understand the requirement of gigabit 0 slash 0 interface this can process only one gig of traffic in one second gigabits of traffic in one second right and you also know that in your delhi university building or Kanat place building or nehru place building you are just having gigabit 0 slash 0 means this guy can send gigabit traffic this guy can send gigabit traffic this guy can send gigabit traffic and he's going to be a problem right i can process only one gigabits of uh, traffic right but i i'm getting three gigabits per second of traffic if all of my branches start sending at full capacity it is going to be a problem and that is where you are going to shape right here because you know that your headquarter can process only one gigabit per, per second right it means that you must be sending 333 million bits per second from here although you can send there is no doubt about it that you can send one gigabit per second but you are going to delay the traffic you are going to say the traffic just stop somewhere there right if i send a gigabit then it's going to be a problem and that is why you are doing a shaping here you are doing a shaping here you are doing a shaping here with the same 333 mbps and now you can configure here that if you see more than 333 million bits of per second from a particular customer, you are going to drop it, or from a particular branch, you are going to drop it, right? Really interesting. Having said that, this is the analogies, these are these are the things where, where you are going to see shaping and policing in your environment. But this is the most important concept. Once you have classified your traffic, once you have marked your traffic, once you have you know that you have queuing enabled and then your scheduler is going to push the traffic out of your interface but here is when shaping comes into picture if this is a van interface you are going to check or if you have a contract that you cannot send with this committed information rate more than this committed information rate towards your service provider you need to shape it means that once you do queuing and from the queuing the messages are coming out the you need to implement shaping in case it is required because policing is happening uh, at the other end if that is the case do shaping with whatever the contract says if contract says that you need to have 50 million bits per second you need to do shaping with mil uh, 50 million bits per second so that eventually the traffic which is going out from your interface is 50 million bits per second but now the whole sole point here is how exactly this shaping is going to work and believe me now you know that you just need to delay the traffic right you can send one your internet uh, your interface speed says that in one second you can send one gigabit of traffic but now you can't do that in those one second you need to send 333 mbps right how you're going to do it you are deliberately delaying it you are going to say interface that i know that your speed is going to be this much right because interface clocking speed the speed at which the interface send the message it is going to be gigabit right then what we are going to say to match 333 mbps we will be saying send for some time and do not send for some time until and unless you get 333 mbps right and that is what we need to calculate exactly and that is where the next 10 minutes or 15 minutes going to be on the calculations but believe me this is these calculations are going to be only fifth sixth grade calculation means if you know addition subtraction this is more than enough this is not integration differentiation nothing and that is where i am saying Computer networking is absolutely easy.